Okay, so you've got your links, hopefully, at the end of your book, so your next book and your other books. But don't just sit there and hope that they will check out the end of your book. I used to do this. I used to put the links at the end of my book, and I'm sure I got sales from it. Um, but I'm sure there's lots of people that never even looked at the end of my book, because most people do not read the entire book. So what can you do? Well, uh, it's not that long ago, actually. It's quite recent that uh, I learned it from Udemy, actually another Udemy instructor called uh, Dave Espino, and he's very successful on Udemy. And uh, we were discussing about um, how do you, you know, get people to check out your other courses in your last lecture. And um, he mentioned that he, he, he mentions that he's got something for them at the end of the course. Now, you've got to be careful with this because you're not allowed to provide coupon links or openly promote your other courses in the content of your course just in the last lecture. However, it's perfectly okay to mention that you have something that will help them in your last lecture um, in relation to a certain topic. That's what he does, and uh, that's a really good idea. Now, I ran a free promotion a while ago, and I actually uh, got good results from doing this. So I mentioned within one of my books, um, it was because the books were about self-publishing, so I mentioned uh, another book that I did and how I did it with that book to demonstrate some, something by example in my book. And when I ran a free promotion on that uh, book, I, I noticed sales increased during that free promotion on the other book that I'd mentioned within the book. Now, I didn't do it, I didn't have this idea at the time, so it was quite by accident I did that. But it made me think about this when uh, Dave mentioned this idea or this method to me. And so I thought, oh, yeah, that, that's going to work in books as well. So don't blatantly promote it, but mention mention your other books or mention there's something at the end of your book which will help them or something they really need to look at at the end of your book in some way. Now, I've found a lot of books this way, um, <clears throat> not just from books, but also, you know, reading articles or anything, you know, on the Internet. Somebody, not necessarily the author themselves, but somebody else have mentioned in a book about some great book, or sometimes I've found it in book reviews of other books. Someone's mentioned another great book they read, or how it's compared to that book, and I, I, I just maybe take a look at that book. So it does work. So you know, do do that. Mention it. Mention that you've got something at the end of your book. So to get them to then take a look at your other books or your next book at the end of your book. Um, don't just tell them. You know, promote and sell to them. But tell them that you've got some further learning uh, and do that throughout your book. Okay, that's what you do there. Also, um, blend it in. Okay, so don't sell. Nobody likes to be sold. So you don't want to be coming over like, you know, buy my next book, it's going to do this and have a big, um, you know, don't have a blazing headline, which looks like a sales headline, like an advert, because people are put off um, with that and they, they don't. You know, they, they don't take notice of it. They ignore it. It doesn't work. You don't want to be doing that to your readers. Your job is to help them after all, even though you want sales. But instead, let them know that there are other resources available. So, for instance, say you had a book on photography. You're talking about taking photographs and pictures. You're not talking about cameras themselves. But it will say, um, you know, there's certain cameras that are, are really good and do this job really well. And uh, if you're interested, I've got a, a, a book uh, another book which talks about uh, the best types of cameras and how to get them really cheaply and there's a link at the end of the book or something like that or check out the end of the book if you need uh, advice on about cameras because there's something that you'll be interested in at the end of my book something like that and what you're doing is you're doing them a favor by telling them that because that's giving them more of what they already want to know they want to know that that information so help them you're actually helping them on the next uh, lecture. Do pay attention to this because I'm going to show you a recipe to turn those links at the end of your book to make them irresistible, to make them click. So really do pay attention to the next lecture.